right now. He deserves a shot at some point. Absolutely. 100%. He is your current PWU television champion. Weighing in at 213 pounds and hailing from anywhere but Philadelphia because Philadelphia is full of ugly children. He is Zebor. Zebor still get no love from the crowd here. I mean, when I was growing up in ECW days, when I had the television title, people respected me. What's going on here? I, don't know. I, I respect him. I think he's Philadelphia's knight in shining armor. He, he hasn't beaten really. He didn't beat Zach Navarro last month. He didn't lose the title though. He lost the match. So. <laughs> one, one thing about being now that I have your attention, your PW Power Surge TV champion's got something to say. I can't wait. I can. Is this part of the time limit? Does his talk here? Since. Now, I think it's when the bell rings. No time limit on Z-Bar interviews. He deserves to go all night. Since oh. ECW has closed its doors, there's never been a television champion in this building until now. So what you're looking at right here is the guy that's going to of guys like Shane Douglas, of guys like the Pitbull, Gary Wolf, and Anthony Durante, guys like Rob Van Dam. Put himself in a very uh, exclusive class. But guess what? You think he's in your class yet? Guess what? In the melee of things to come with this little oh, goose no, of PWU, man. I didn't get a match tonight. Z-Bar has nobody to wrestle, which in turn means there's no TV championship on the line tonight. But that doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me at all. See, I am the most fighting champion in this company. I'm the best wrestler that PW has. Uh, it's a little bit of a stretch. So I'm going to make an open challenge wow. to anybody in that locker room at any time, at any place. How about Right now, one of you guys put your boots on. Hey, I want competition, competition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 10 minutes up on that screen right there. You got 10 minutes to beat me. Anybody that's got their long ass to come on out here, belt on the line. You guys gotta give him credit for one thing. He's willing to face anyone for a title with new strategy. Technically, you shouldn't worry about it. I mean, if you're going to have the TV strap, you got to fight it and hold it every time. But listen to this who's, music, Gary. Look who's back in PW. This is the same guy who Zebar escorted out of the building here a few months ago. Yeah, but I don't see him yet. It's the music. Maybe of some the of the international what is that? Song. I got rid of him. You got rid of him twice. That sounds like Trent Acid. I think yeah. so. It's, it might be someone playing mind games, guys. Don't get your hopes up. I think Trent Acid's entrance alone well, takes people, TV time. Zabar has to understand that. I mean, people are going to try to go after him any chance in any way they can. Zabar's ready for this. This is Zabar we're talking about. Oh, God. There he is. He measures in this evening at 10 and one quarter. One of the founding fathers of Pro Wrestling Unplugged, back to shut up Z-Bar. I don't care if his spawn created this company. This company is now Z-Bar's. Look at him. Z-Bar can't take it. At the present time, Z-Bar is the champ. So, I mean, whatever he says goes. Z-Bar has his 10-minute time limit down to a science. Now, what, what do you think the odds are Trent Ashton, after not being in the ring for a couple months, taking on Z-Bar and winning in within 10 minutes? Uh, I'm going to go against all judgment, and I'm going to root 
for the champ because I want my boy to go against him. That's what you want to see, Aramis versus Separ. Yeah, but Gary, you want to see. Gary, when Aramis was on his original hot streak, the PWTV title for it, Trent Aspen was the one that stopped him. Yeah, I accept that. But you got to remember, uh, Aramis had to go through a lot to get into that tournament. Yes, he did. Uh, he had to win a lot of matches. I mean, it wasn't a night and day tournament. Oh, no. By no means. Look at Trent he looks much healthier, much, much more revived than he did a few months ago when he was ejected from this building by the current television champion. Why do people still put money out Trent Ass's pants? Well, I think he's a male stripper or something, so I don't know, I'm not really sure. I just know his aim is better be ready because Z-Bar is not playing around. He's not going to lose that belt. This is Z-Bar's first single championship. He's going to go to extreme lengths to defend it and hold on to it. Can we have a 10-minute time limit on the intro? I don't know. I think they would have started <laughs> the clock by now. I guess they're waiting for bell time. It's the magic of editing for TV. You know what? Trent Acid has gotten into the head of z -Bar. That's all the way there. This has been his strategy, this long entrance that pretty much is just as long as the TV time limit itself. Oh, I thought his long entrance was just to bore me. Not too fond of it myself, but I guess you got to endure it. You're the reason Trent Acid's even a pro wrestler, Gary. Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm a reason why a lot of guys are pro wrestlers. <laughs> you should take credit for it. He's a good good athlete, good wrestler. Uh, Numerous right. championships. I, oh, yeah, absolutely. You've turned out some good people. I thought I have. As long as you're here, I'm kissing your ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm not you're surprised. You're smart. <laughs> smart. Smart comment there. Now, actually, you told me earlier today that in about approximately 30 days from this taping, the original Adam House will be returning with you as the uh, head trainer. That's correct. The school was back, baby. 30 days from today, we're back in this building and we're up and running. All you guys who think you can do it, I give you a try at any time you want. Feel free. And that's the first step to making it on Team Pit. It's going through that Animal House. Uh, just getting through the circle of pain alone. Yes. If you can get through the circle of pain, then you can get in the ring. But the question is, can Z-Bar get through this 10-minute title defense? I must say, he gets a lot of cash from the fans. He makes more money going around than he does getting paid. <laughs> oh! Z-Bar saying that Trent has never beat him, but Trent has spit in his face. Oh no. Get him, Z-Bar! He's degrading your prince. Start the clock. Let's get Trent some motivation to get in the ring. I'll tell you one thing, though. I know Trent's going to give him a, uh, a whole lot of work, man. It's not going to be easy. He wants 10 minutes. He's going to get 10 minutes. I know when uh, Trent Asset gets in the ring, he gives it all he's got. His shirt says wrestler. Get in the ring, Trent, and wrestle. Remember, he's coming off of a knee surgery, you know. Oh, yeah. He just, so. In fact, he's wrestling. He deserves some credit right now. First match back. Yeah. their mouth wide open at the sight of Z-Bar. Or maybe it was when the ra railing fell I'm on. pretty sure it wasn't Z-Bar. Z-Bar knew what he had to do. He's got to get this match on the outside. And the clock is ticking, remember. 10 minute time limit and Z-Bar, all he says he has to do is survive the 10 minutes. He doesn't have to pin anybody. He doesn't have to submit anybody. He doesn't have to even get counted out. Well, the strategy is working him outside the ring. I mean, he's doing well, I gotta tell you that. Trent Anthony does not look good here in the early going of his first match back after being taken out by that guardrail. That was a wicked bump, man, especially for his knee. I don't know if his knee could take it. So soon back. Right. Oh, and into the other guardrail. Yeah, and Z-Bar got extra momentum by running along the side of Trent Anthony as long as he could before releasing him. Z-Bar's got a little under nine minutes left in this match. He's a tenth of the way there. Well, you 
Well, well, it's not Z-Bar, it's actually Trent Acid has less than 10 minutes to beat him. Yeah, that's true. What was your strategy going into these TV title matches in the past? Uh, pretty much almost the same oh. as Z-Bar. You gotta much, pretty much survive the 10 minutes. And it's not an easy thing to beat a TV title. Gary, who did you actually beat for the television championship when you won it? I uh, beat J.T. Smith from the Sicily. Yes. <laughs> and now Zebar going back onto the attack. He was a former <laughs> member of the FBI at one time. <laughs> and Trent Ash is a you know a current member of well losing to Zebar at the moment. I like that group. Why do you, why do you kiss his ass so much? I like him. He's talented. Look at all the people Z-Bar has beaten in the last couple, last, less, let's say, uh, eight months. Devin Moore, John McChesney, Eddie Kingston, Mr. Wrestling number three, and Trent Acid. All right, I'll give it to you. He, he has stacked up points of victories. Cover here, one, two, and kick in after two. This match lives on. Tell you, Z-Bar is impressive, man. I gotta admit, I'm watching his style. He's taking his time, and he's, he's like more or less looking over what he's got to do and get it done. You might want to keep this on the DL, but um, how would you uh, tell Aramis to go into one of these 10-minute time limit matches? Very aggressive, and uh, he won't be out there hanging out with the fans and getting money from him, that's for sure. <laughs> Z-Bar has Trent Asset once again to the outside. Trent Asset is not looking good here. He looks to be favoring his knee a little bit. I was his whole body after taking out the guardrail. I haven't seen any offensive moves at all from Trent. Shot to Z-Bar. Shoulder block. And here we go, up and over. Little Trent Asset. Mm. Waist lock applied. Oh, and that kick. Got him right in the temple, too. Um. Picks up power bomb, taking out Trent Asset. We have a cover here. One, two. Oh, but a kick out after two. And it's looking strong. And just over six minutes left here in this matchup. <laughs> six minutes, and Zebar retains. That's all he's got to do is make sure it goes to the time limit. Now Zebar going after the hair. Trent's got to get some kind of offensive uh, moves going here. And now Zebar using the ropes. Come on, Keener, break that up. Why should he? If Zebar gets disqualified, he still holds on to the title. Off the ropes. Baseball slide underneath. Oh, and a slap right across the face of Trent Asset. Showing Asset absolutely no respect. Yeah, a punch would have been more effective physically, but that slap got into Trent Asset's head mentally. Absolutely. Nothing worse than getting bitched. Dan's used to that. I've never been bitch left ever in my life. Yeah, you'll get there. have planned. Going to the air, I guess. Slingshot. Up and over. Oh, big splash. Air Z bar. Two. Oh, but a kick out after two. Trent has to try to ra trying to rally the fans. I don't really think they'll help any. Uh, I think they will help. These fans are actually quite upset when Z bar ejected Trent Acid here a few months ago. Sending Trent off the ropes. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. The Trent Acid of old. Coming to live. What do you think? Zebar reverses it. Now Zebar got him up. Trent Acid up and over. Springboard into a tornado DDT taking out Zebar. Well, Bar, you only got to last less than five minutes. Doesn't seem like there's much spring left in the. Uh... Trent's knees there, is there? No, first match back, plus he's been taking a beating the whole match. That's right. It's going to take a little while to get the ring rust off, get that knee into 100%. I don't know if I would have wanted to come back as my first match facing the television championship. I mean, well, but Trent Acid has done some questionable things in the past. Trent Acid was so close to winning the TV title before he was stopped by our Knight in Shining Armor guys in the television title tournament. But now he's fighting back. Look at, now look at Trent Acid come alive. Lighten up Zebar in that corner. Get in there, Keener. He's got his hair. There we go. Taking it to Zebar. And the Trent Acid of old. Lands Zebar up 
on that top rope. What is, it's like another injury in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that knee right to the hip of Z-Bar. He needs that to get some, you know, lifting in the brain buster. Here we go. Oh, that drive the face down onto the mat. And a cover here. One, two. Oh, but a kick out after two. Oh, Three and a half minutes left on the clock. Counting down. Yeah, by taking out Z-Bar's hip. He's not being able to get the brain buster. If you lift with your hips and your legs. I don't know what Zebo. I'm trying to have plan here. Oh, wait a second, that knee. He just stepped off the ring and literally started limping. I'm telling you, I don't think that, that knee is ready, man. I'm telling you. Come on, Keener, Cal. Oh, come on, Trent. What is he got planned? Oh, Keener disqualifies him. Less than three minutes. He better get. Get set up when he needs to get done. And transit favoring that knee that went into surgery for last month. Two minutes forty two two minutes forty-three seconds left on the clock. Seabar is sitting down right now like he's watching TV. Zebar versus setting Trent Acid right into that chair. Just under two and a half minutes left on the clock. Cover here. One, two. Oh, but a kick out after two. Somehow, Trent Acid is able to kick out. What a crippling blow that was. Yeah, flapjack right on an open chair. I'm surprised that uh, Trent Acid was able to kick out of that. That was very surprising. He's not only putting his body through, but his knee put, put his knee through it. All throws. Two minutes. Line. Two minutes remain. And there you go. Oh, Zemore said Trent has up top. Oh, Zemore up and over. Oh, roll oh, yes. Cover one, two, another roll. Cover one, two. Oh, Zemore. Uh oh, we got the old Dory Funk going on here. Oh, yeah, Kiwi roll. Trent has with the cover one, two. Oh, kick out after two. 90 seconds. Z-Bar, you can handle this. You can make it. This is a commercial break you have to last through, basically. Z-Bar up and over. Oh. Cover one, two. Trinas is about to be able to kick out. Cover one. Flips over one, two. Oh, another one, one, two. Just over a minute, one, two. Oh, Keener, get in the ring, why don't you? Yeah, you gotta wonder if that extra one second it took him to get out of the ring could have screwed up a three count. Absolutely. 60 seconds are left on the clock. And count. Zibar kick to the gut. Sunset flip. Oh, he's in Trent Acid. Cover one, two. Oh! Kick Thank out. You. Five seconds and counting. Thank oh, you. Zibar was extremely lucky on that one, boy. That was like two and a half. Trent Acid surprising the crowd here. Coming back from knee surgery. Super kick, 28 seconds. You better hurry up. What are you doing? Just make the cover. Just make the cover. Tried the cover right there. Why is he? 20 seconds. Waste your time, Trent. Up, oh, flying 69 drop. He's setting up for it. Here we go. Oh, he's in Zimar trying to play that. Hit. 10 Hit seconds. It. 10 seconds. The drop. On the cover. Oh, oh no. One, two. The time! Stop! The it? time ran out! He was in the middle of a count, wasn't he? Well, Peter was saying only a count of two. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has run out. This match is a draw. Seal your PWU television champion, Z-Bar. That has always been a debate I've wondered. If, if the time runs out and you're in the middle of a play in football, the game stops when the play is over. In wrestling, during a pin, the bell sounds, the pin doesn't count. I don't think, I don't think Z-Bar cares. All that matters is he is still the Pro Wrestling Unplugged Power Surge TV Champion. Oh, I'm happy about that. Well, he gets one more month to hold on to it. Who knows what could happen next month? I'm hoping my boy Average can get the part time and the prop to get this stuff. Well, I won't say what I think. Trent Acid believes he should be champion right now. He didn't win, Trent. Give the belt back, brother. Give the belt back. Come on, Trent. If you get enough money from the crowd, you can buy a replica.
arguably he did not win because the bell rang. So he only got like a two count. That's all up to uh, Z-Bar whether or not he wants to give him a minute, yeah. five minutes, or whatever it takes. The crowd wants five more minutes. I, should we be celebrating Z-Bar defending the title successfully? I would think Z-Bar would be, but I guess Trent must be under his, uh, getting under his nerves or something because he's not letting go. The time would expired. I grab my belt, I turn around, and I walk out. That's what I would do. I know, I know Acid, you want to be the champion, but the time limit expired. Nobody really likes Z-Bar as champ, but it happens. What? Except for JQ. Okay. Look, I am not saying that Z-Bar does not deserve to be champ. I agree that he does. I'm just saying he's got to put up his belt and compete. The whole, that's all I'm saying. Oh, don't awesome. shake that grummy mitt, Z-Bar. And that's shown some respect from one former champion to a current champion. No. I want to shake his hand, Z-Bar. What's he at the game? I'll give it to Z-Bar, he was quite impressive. He was able to last the 10 minutes. Hey, like I said, if I was Z-Bar, I'd grab my belt and I'd be out of here. He's following your advice, Gary. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ah, he shook his hand. Good sportsmanship from Z-Bar. Me, personally, I'm not a founder or a follower of being good sportsmanship. And when you get in that ring and that bell rings, anything goes in my book. It's a good book, but you know what? I, mean, I guess you got to give it to both of them. Oh, it looks like Z-Bar. He's turning a leaf here. I'm actually quite surprised that he shook the hand of Trent Acid. 